I want to look at Baba's life from yet another perspective. And that is the perspective of perfect balance. Think about the balance of compassion and courage. Compassion, very soft, very kind, very, very much um, a feminine trait in a sense. And courage, very much connected with the masculine, the power, the ability to move ahead and take a step forward. And the whole of Baba's life demonstrates this perfect balance of compassion and courage. And yes, in fact, both are very much together. If there's only compassion, but it's not put into practical use, there'll be many situations that come up in which if I lack courage, I'm not going to be able to do the right thing at the right time. But Baba, a very soft and tender heart, accepting all the children who had come, but yet at the same time, the courage to face whatever may come, because of course Baba knew there would be opposition. And the move to Karachi was partly to ensure that there could be some space. Otherwise, Hyderabad, a small city, and everybody crowded together, everybody into everybody's business. Karachi, a big cosmopolitan port city, space, and a chance for everyone to breathe. But that courage of moving, but also accepting, it took both compassion and courage both together. Um, sending his children young girls who knew nothing about the world, who'd been protected completely, and sending them into Maya's den, like Bombay and Delhi. Baba would even say that um, Bombay is, Mumbai is a place of Maya, where everything of Maya exists. And Baba knowing that the power of purity of these young women would keep them safe. And so compassion for the world that they need to hear this message and the courage, the love and detachment with which he sent those young sisters out. And then we also see this perfect balance of the master and the child. Baba, of course, the master, absolutely with that spiritual power and authority of being in charge. The Lokic authority, Baba did not care about that because from being well-respected to being absolutely shunned by his own brothers um, and the rest of the community. So there was nothing left of the Lokic prestige or position anyway, but Baba had willingly thrown that away. But now, a great charisma, a great spiritual authority, very much the master who understood and knew how to do things and make things happen. But yet, at the same time, the child, the child who was playing games. And I share with you one little incident. Um, Didi, Didi Manmoyni, was in the last few years Baba's constant companion. When Mama's left, Baba calls Didi to be the manager for Madhuban. And so she's there. And she would love to tease Baba, to make him light, because she knew that there were so many things that Baba was having to carry. And Didi brings out some nuts. One is a nuts, uh, one is um, a bag that has shelled pistachio nuts, and the other is a bag of um, pistachio nuts with their shells, salted ones. And Didi brings them both to Baba and says, Baba, tell me, which one is more expensive? What do you think? And normally, I, I would have said, and Baba <laughs> said at that time, that the ones without the shells were more expensive because 
you, you're otherwise paying for the shell that you threw away. But the thing about pistachio nuts, and I don't know now, I don't go buying nuts, but at that time, definitely, it was the other way around, that pistachio nuts in their shells meant to be, they were ready to eat, they were roasted and salted. So they were more expensive. And Baba looks at Didi and says, definitely, it's the shelled ones that are more expensive. And Didi teases Baba, Baba, you haven't been shopping for a long time. You don't know the market at the moment. And she's laughing and she's teasing Baba and making Baba laugh. A simple little thing. But somehow Didi knew how to make Baba laugh. And another sister also, Sandeshi. Um, she was also one who would always, always find a way to make Baba laugh and just become light. So a child. And so absolutely the master. And when Baba was the teacher, Didi would have that distance and that respect. This is the supreme teacher.